What do you do when you move into a brand new home and it's not what it's cracked up to be? In fact, the house is cracking up right before your eyes. It was your castle. It's not the Australian dream, it's a not The great Australian dream shattered. Families under pressure, homes literally broken. Cracks, movements, a build that didn't want to take responsibility. We called them, they blamed us. It's Australia's building shame. Brand new homes twisting, cracking, falling down. I've been living for five years in a disaster. You know, you move into your house, your dream house, and the house starts, you know, to have issues. Zizi Mitanis moved to Australia with her husband, had a baby, and was ready to start a new life in a brand new home in Wyndham Vale, west of Melbourne. But she says it's already falling down. So this is shocking. When did this crack appear? As soon as we moved in. And it runs the whole way along here? Yep. Right through into your kitchen. I mean, it's all coming off. Yeah, even you can see screws on. I asked them to put some screws in because I was afraid. And, and visually, the problems are so clear, aren't they? I mean, cupboards don't even match. Yep. And it's a new house. The way I look at it is if this was a work site, it would be shut down and deemed unsafe to work in, yet we are supposed to live in here and raise our children in here, and we paid to do it. Cheyenne and Troy Dumbledon say cracks started appearing soon after their house in Werribee, also west of Melbourne, was completed. Now they say it's a danger zone. What on earth happened here? Well, I was just sitting here without warning at both walls of the corners, just come crashing down, bang. And it landed on the kids' table and chairs and uh, the TV and uh, just insulation just flying everywhere. So it's also an earthquake. You've got just, the corners is just falling off the wall onto your kids' table. It was just, I can't even explain how shocking it was because like, I was literally just a metre from where it's landing. Chan claims dust from the exposed insulation blows all over her home. The house makes alarming popping noises during the night. Her two sons are scared. Financially and emotionally, it pays a massive burden on your, on your life. You're demoralised to walk in the door, to know that you're living in a house that's, uh, that's not fit. You, you struggle with that every day because you, uh, you, know, you, you know financially it's a burden and um, you know, the, the, the toll it takes on your family life is quite hot. What's going on? It starts with what's called reactive soil, found in pockets around the country and in these cases in Melbourne's west. If the soil gets soaked after heavy rains or because of inadequate drainage, it expands, causing uncontrollable movement of the floor slab. Homes can lift, heave, twist and crack. Well, the reactive soil is the source of the problem, but clearly the slabs don't have sufficient stiffness to withstand the range of movement. Robert Arricchio from law firm Slater & Gordon says he's dealing with more than 160 desperate homeowners from around the country whose homes are cracking. There's an Australian standard that needs to be followed and clearly if they don't follow that standard their home is vulnerable to slab heave or footing and foundation movement. Do you think it's because it's cheaper to do it? Well, the, the evidence seems to be that the cost of construction is significantly reduced as a consequence of the methods currently being employed. Some houses are so bad lawyers are calling for them to be knocked to the ground. Bulldozing is an extreme remedy but it is one that's available particularly in those cases where the home is moving way outside of the Australian standards. It looks like the whole side of the house is going to fall off. A current affair has been following this growing story for two and a half years. Many of the homeowners we have spoken to have trusted big name builders like Clarendon Homes, Heritage Homes and Metricon. Others have the same problem with smaller companies. Cheyenne and Troy's builder, Bellani Builders, told A Current Affair, seeing the matter is currently before VCAT, we decline to make a comment at this stage. Meanwhile, they can only sit and watch in despair as their life's biggest investment crumbles to the ground. Well, it's unsellable. How can you sell it like this? So the value of it would be nothing, it would be zero. It'd be the debt that we've, we owe on the house and it'd also be the cost of, of the legal battle that we've got. It's, it's, um, but it's deemed defective, so you can't um, sell it without declaring that it is a defective home. Who, who would buy a defective home knowing that it could potentially 
fall down. Zizi's builder, JG King, blamed her for building a pagoda out the back. She says she wants her nightmare home knocked down. We have, we spend so much money in this house and the house isn't worth anything. And we sought a response from a number of the builders involved. You can go to our website for the full statement from one company, JG King Homes.